Good afternoon, everybody. I am a very privileged member of Birmingham Unity. It is a most magical group. Within it, everybody is a sister or a brother. It is family. And we have a beautiful sister, Karen, who leads us and helps us. And we all help each other. And we have fun. There is no domination. There is freedom. The freedom that we should have in Christ. So I'd like to read you a poem about a man I met a few years ago. He actually was a co-op manager. And it's called Compassion. Steve's his name. He manages our local co-op store. Kind-hearted and compassionate. No one could ask for more. His customers he treats with care. Every single one. But someone special comes in there. More each day than some. This lady's had a hard life. And in this trauma... She has forgotten what the time is, or if she's had her tea. She can go in the co-op shop at least four times a day. And Steve, he always is so kind, never turning her away. But yet, if it's a dozen times she comes into his shop, Steve always listens to her woes. And more than that, he stops. He gives his time. He gives a smile, never losing any cool. He treats her like a lady and not some lonely fool. I think he gives her self-respect, the very lasting kind, the sort that filters gently through her hurt, distorted mind. She waits each day for Jesus to come back and end her pain. She may not know she's found him as she shops for fruit and grain. I think Steve is her Jesus, the only one maybe. In her world, he's the co-op man who gives her company. Could we be such a Jesus to a lost and lonely soul? I look to Steve to learn the way to reach that perfect goal. He doesn't even know it that this lady passing by can see the kindness in his heart, the sparkle in his eye. But I am just that lady passing quietly on by and thinking with security, if ever it was I who lost my way and lost the time and lost my shopping too, there'd be a lovely co-op man like Steve to help me through. Oh,